Now let's try to recreate some other of our API examples here. Let's take this version 2 where we use the URI template. So we're going to copy this operation. Name it template. Okay, and in this case, we're going to do V2 cars, and instead of Honda, we're going to do make. Let's make it uppercase make. And what we have to do to be able to map that value to the URI, we have to do public string, make, and attribute this with a URI segment. So the URI segment and other mappers take uh, different values of their constructors. If you leave it out blank, if, if you don't use a constructor, then the field name of make with an uppercase will be passed into here. Uh, what we could do is we could override that and define make. Then we would change this to make. And the same response applies here. We have a duplicate of this class, so let's remove it. Let's clean up our code a little bit by removing this car models model. Let's add a new folder. Call it models. And let's just copy this over real quick. Rename this to car models. And let's get this guy out of here. Rename this space to models. Now we have a car model in our models namespace. So one thing we do have to fix up here is remove this class. Models. Same goes for our models here, and save all of those. So in our API intro tests, we've commented out our previous operation, and we've added the new one. And what we've done in the initializer is assign Honda to the make variable. So what's going to happen is when the request is built, the value of the make here is going to get assigned into their URI. So let's try to run this. Okay. All right, so here, it's telling us that this operation is going to go against this URI, and after it's built, you can see that Honda here has replaced our make variable. And the response comes back. Let's try to do the same with our other method that uses query parameters. So what we're gonna do is copy this and rename it to version two QP. take a look at what our requests look like. So WAG V2 cars and then there's the make and sort. So we're going to get rid of this. Still want to keep the make however instead of a URI segment this is going to become HTTP query string and uh, the same constructor applies here where if we leave this as make with an uppercase M the query string is going to get created with an uppercase M so we can override that and say make and we need another one for
sort. It's called sort order. HTTP query string sort. So in our example script here, we're going to comment out the template version that we just did, and we're going to do new operations get QP. And again, in the initializer, we're going to do make equals Honda and sort order equals descending. You're going to do a send and not worry about the callbacks. Okay. So we're going to run this. And we see the output. Let's take a look at what our request look like. Here's the request, the cars. Once it gets constructed, here you go. There's the sort, the sending, and make Honda. In this video, we've touched on query parameters, URI templates, and URI segments.